What's up guys, welcome to the BBTFRG YouTube channel and today's video we're going to be taking a look at season 47 ship to ship showdown sneak peeks but first a quick introduction. My name is Martin aka Ballistic Bull, Dynamic Donkey or Manic Meerkat. Uh, you may recognize those names from the bullship streams that I do live but I am here now doing all of the content for the channel. And for those of you that don't know, this is because Aaron has retired. He's hung up his hung up his boom boots um, to pursue other avenues. He'll still be around from time to time. And who knows, we may even see a guest appearance from him occasionally. But for the most part, he has retired. Yeah, I am now the face of BBTFRG. Let's get on with it. This season, Ship to Ship Showdown. Um, mind the Gap, I think it should be called, personally but uh, we'll get on to that later but for now let's take a look at the stuff that you want to have a look at statue boosts we've got troop damage at 100% troop health at 150% defensive building damage at 100% and building health at 50% with your GBE at 150% <laughs> Now let's take a look at the chest reward values for this season. Again, standard for a three week season. We've got wood at 15 keys and 260,000 tokens. Stone at 16 keys and 290,000 tokens. Iron, 18 keys and 325,000 tokens. Gold at 20 keys and 360,000 tokens. This is where the jump comes, why you want to try and get to diamond as quick as possible. Diamond, 25 keys, 450,000 tokens. And then legendary with a whopping 30 keys and 560,000 tokens. Right, now let's get over and take a look at what you all want to see. And that is this season's tech tree. Here it is. Um, start off this season with riflemen and zookas as your free troops um, with your cannon and the sniper tower there um, flare mortar gbe troop health mines med kits all available at 2er and rocket choppers yep there they are rocket choppers at 2er enjoy those fellas then on into 3er we've got two potential paths top path or bottom path um, either way you're forced to pick up kavan first off so kavan first troop this season uh, makes a change we haven't seen him for a while um, then on to flamethrowers we've got a multi-node here which is um, mine sniper tower or flamethrowers then on to the smoke the machine guns uh, and then <clears throat> we're up into sort of 4ER territory or from Kavan you can come down via the oh, sorry via the mortar the cannon sniper tower choice on that one pick up some DV, DVD some shock some GBE to go along with your rocket choppers then up for the boom cannons and then along um, and you can either jump straight to 4ER from machine guns or swing round and pick up Mrs Brick Given that you've already got Kavan, is Brick a good idea? Mm, I think probably not. I mean, it's 42 keys. It's a big investment at the start of the season, but it's up to you guys. You know, you take the path that you wish. Uh, so at 4ER there, we've got uh, another troop health, the second troop health node just off of 4ER. Before we move on to boom cannons, and mechs up top or dropping down the bottom there to the heavies. Um, DBD, Warriors and Shock Mines, or the middle path of tanks and rocket launchers. Um, I th think I know which way I would go, although the tanks would be a, um, a bit of a key vacuum. Um, you're going to get you on to five quicker. We've got the Scorchers there um, for 32 keys just before 5ER, and another multi-node, which is one cannon, two mortars, and two machine guns. Um, fifth uh, ER, and after it, on a dead-end node, we've got the Critter Launchers. First time we've seen Critter Launchers this far up the tree for a little while, I believe. Um, so it'd be nice to be able to run around the decks at two, at two, three, four ER and not have to get involved with those pesky little critters nibbling at your ankles. Uh, then we've got our first proto node, which is the Shock Blaster, the Doom Cannon, or the Laser Beam, all rank level one, but that's there after uh, 5 ER, then we're on to Bullet, which would be the second compulsory hero. So that's Kavan and Bullet, probably the two best heroes in warships you are forced to get this season. 
I think that could turn out to be a good thing come the end meta, but we'll wait and see. First troop damage node is available there, just under bullet, um, with artillery available. Uh, you can go up for the bombardiers, the gramps, or you can come down for the seekers and the quick path to 6ER. If you go up, if you go up via the gramps, you can also pick up Sparky and this choice node, which is <laughs> the uh, the inevitable mine node, three boom mines, three shot mines, or nine green mines. Then to 6ER and barrage available immediately after with the shock launchers just after that. So there will be a window there for seekers um, when they could run riot because you've got the shock mines on this dead end node via the key vacuum of warriors and no um, shock launchers at that point either. From shock launchers, you can go to cry, get go and get the cryos or the critters. I think I know what everyone will be doing there. And then we got our second proto node, which is a boom surprise, a simo or microwaver. Um, you'll notice that the sorry, the simo is a level three, and the other two are level twos. Um, then we are on to the big yellow bus, the one that everyone strives for this uh, every season. So yeah, big yellow bus there, readily available just before seven er. There is 7 ER. <clears throat> and the laser laser chicks straight after laser rangers straight after 7 ER. And then on to this node, which is where you'll find the only Sky Shield this season. Uh, the Sky Shield there just after 7. And then it's this sort of non-optional path, really, from 7. We've got the troop damage, uh, another proto multi node, another proto multi node, which is the Simo, the Grappler, and the Hot Pot, all level threes. And then you've got your third troop health node, your third GBE node. And <clears throat> yep, that's right, folks. Your first building health, your first and only building health node there in 7ER. You're going to go the whole season without any building health. So there is the tree. Let's jump back over here. Now we're going to take a look at the decks. So as you can see here, uh, 2ER, we've just got that little piece of deck at the back with the ramp on the... Um, right hand side there. Now at 3ER you see a bit of an expansion, um, a portion moving into the middle of the ship, but most interestingly of all we've got the left hand ramp open as well now with a great big gap across to the uh, the open deck at the back there, which is why I said the season should be called Mind the Gap because there is a big out big old gap. Now on to four ERs and as you can see that extension comes almost to the front of the ship. We've still got the left hand ramp open, we've still got the gap there to the main deck and we've still got the right hand ramp open at the back. This is because we've got rocket choppers at the start obviously and they will be able to cross that gap and not a problem. Um, I have tried with some troops on that gap and they will, the bombardiers, the grenadiers, they'll fire across the, across the gap. Um, but not so much anything else. So if you land troops on that left hand ramp, uh, they're, unless it's the, the gramps or the uh, grens, they're just kind of going to sit there and twiddle their thumbs for the duration of the battle. So do your best not to do that. So now moving on to 5ER, as you can see, the whole of the right side is now opened up as well as the left ramp still. Uh, we've still got the gap there on the left hand side. Uh, we've got a couple of uh, entry points on the right hand side now at 5ER. Now on to 6ERs and that um, front portion of the deck is extended right the way across but we've still got the gap and like I say that's why I think the season should have been called Mind the Gap. Uh, that gap is there throughout. Oh, bit of a spoiler there for the 7 deck. And then finally the 7 deck as you can see we've got all the ramps open both sides. Almost got a whole deck. Um, couple of little cutouts in the middle there and obviously that gap still to mind at the front so yeah that is the decks for this season and that was the sneak peeks for season 47 good luck on the seas and i'll see you next time